Getting a high school diploma will be twice as nice for many Des Moines students who will be earning a college degree at the same time. We'll talk about this exciting new opportunity next on Classroom Connections. Hi and welcome to Classroom Connections, a public affairs discussion on issues important to students, teachers and parents in Des Moines Public Schools. I'm Phil Rader, Director of Community Relations. For years, Des Moines Public Schools has had a close relationship with colleges and universities in Iowa to make new opportunities available to students and teachers. Our relationship with community colleges has now moved to a new level, as Des Moines High School students will have an opportunity to complete an Associate of Arts degree at the same time they're completing high school. Here to talk with us today about this new initiative is Randy Mead, Dean of Program Development at Des Moines Area Community College. Randy, thanks for taking the time today to join us. Sure. First of all, how is this possible? How does a student complete a high school diploma at the same time that they're actually earning a college degree? You know, we, we run what's referred to as Career Advantage Credits. Uh, it's an opportunity for students to um, complete dual credit programming. Uh, with certification and with the uh, entire uh, process affiliated with the with the uh, credit community college credits being issued at the same time that they're completing their high school programming so they they start as early as uh, typically a, a sophomore junior level and they uh, in the classes that they take they receive uh, DMAC credit because all of the uh, curriculum and the programming is the same programming that's delivered in the community college class so they receive those credits uh, at the same time uh, during high school. What's, what's the value of this to the student? What, what benefits will they have leaving with a high school diploma as well as the associate's degree? Well there are numerous uh, advantages obviously of doing it. Cost is one. Uh, many students who don't think that they can be successful in a four-year institution or a two-year institution have the opportunity to be able to to see that they can be successful in the high school uh, setting and uh, while receiving uh, community college credit. It can uh, decrease their time to degree completion and uh, it's, it's really a, a great opportunity for them not to duplicate uh, what they're doing in high school as they go off to uh, another post-secondary institution. So there are numerous benefits affiliated with it. Um, many, uh, many opportunities for students to be able to receive that credit and and do very well and experience that success as they transition. Another tremendous benefit is that it enables for the secondary institution to work very closely uh, to be able to match their curriculum and match their expectations for students with the post-secondary institutions. So that, that's probably, that is a tremendous benefit in itself. Now, I know Des Moines Public Schools and DMACS had a close relationship for, for years and years. In fact, if I remember the numbers right, I think over the last 10 years, there's been something like 62,000 college credits that Des Moines high school students have earned through DMAC, either the technical coursework at Central Campus or the advanced placement courses that we offer at our, at our high schools. Is this really kind of taking that relationship and success in the past and kind of raising it now to a new level where students have a little more to show for it at the end? Right, exactly right, Phil. I mean, <clears throat> Gary McClanahan, the director at Central Campus, and myself started this programming over 10 years ago. And and in working with the, uh, with the teachers, we took a look at all of the career and technical programming. And of those numbers that you indicate there, approximately 50% of those are in the career and technical areas. So we started working with their teachers and our teachers to be able to make sure that we had um, similar certification for them, similar competencies being met, and similar outcomes and assessments being made within the classes. And um, over the, so over that period of time, then we... Uh, we also added the, what I refer to as the uh, general education classes, the arts and science classes mm -hmm. that are offered at the academy. And also then this programming spread to the local schools. So all of the outlying uh, local schools in Des Moines Public also uh, participate in the programming at this particular time. And so what we had the opportunity to do, this is sort of the capstone of it, we had the opportunity then to say, you know, uh, these are all the offerings. If you put them together in the right sequences, um, they will enable for you to be able to complete a degree uh, upon completion of those. So it's a, it's a marketing piece, it's sort of a, 
uh, a packaging piece and a real good communication piece to parents when they see the uh, savings and the opportunities for their students to increase their programming through uh, numerous course offerings at the junior and senior level. Uh, certainly they're pleased with that uh, opportunity for their students to be able to participate. Well good, you you'd mentioned uh, teachers a moment ago. Um, were, were there things that teachers needed to do in order to participate in this? Would, did they re need extra training or certification in order to teach courses that were actually going to uh, also receive college credit? And the answer is yes. M many of the uh, teachers had to go back to school to be able to complete a master's degree is what's required. So the, those teachers that we deal with have the same uh, qualifications as any teacher who would work at DMAC. The expectations are, are no different, uh, so as far as their certification and their procedures, they all go through our human resources process to be able to be certified. And then they also uh, participate in, in training, you know, update training that takes place at uh, Des Moines Area Community College in specific areas. We also then require for them to, uh, oftentimes they have to change their curriculum when it's offered because when you take a look at the, uh, the offerings affiliate or the high school level, um, they have to make some adjustments to be able to match exactly what that course is at the uh, community college level. So there are many adjustments that they need to make uh, so that uh, the expectation when a student uh, completes that course that they, it's no different than a student completing a course on our campus. So I was going to say the, the standards for, for teachers and students alike, it's no different whether they're at one of our high schools or central campus or if they're on one of DMAX campuses. Exactly and you know that's the beauty of it is that there is that connectivity between the two institutions to be able to make sure that that's going to take place and uh, training sessions, staff developments uh, are uh, similar so we have our teachers working with their teachers to be able to make sure that uh, everything is uh, in line and meets the guidelines affiliated with the programming to be able to, to be operable. I'm sure a lot of, of students or their parents that are watching this um, are, are probably going to be interested. In fact, I, I would imagine that for some students this might be a chance for them to be the first in their family to actually get a college degree. What do they do? If you, if you want to pursue an associate's degree while you're completing high school, what, what does a student or their parents need to do to uh, participate? The first would be for them to, for the students and the parents to be able to check in to see what's offered at their local building. And what we're beginning to do is work with students as early as the eighth grade level to be able to get them on track and to see what opportunities they would have as they move through the uh, secondary curriculum, particularly at the high school. So to, to be able to first check to see what is offered in their local school and uh, then to take into consideration opportunities uh, as they would participate possibly in programming at Central Campus also programming that's offered in the summertime they're eligible to be able to participate in as well through some uh, through sometimes a little bit different arrangement you know not during the school year not during the regular school day but they certainly can complete some of that programming as well so uh, the first uh, the first um, initiative on their part would be to, to check with their principals their counselors their teachers at their local school district to be able to see what's offered there and to be able to lay out a, a plan of study for them as they go through the programming to take a look to see what needed to be taken to be able to complete. Well good, well, Randy, thanks for taking the time to talk with us today about this and I'm sure a lot of students and their parents will be very interested uh, next year and for many years to come. Uh, that's all the time we have today. To learn more about this topic you can go to the school district's website and also download a copy of the course catalog. That's at www.dmps.k12.ia.us. Until next time for Classroom Connections, I'm Phil Rader. Thanks for watching. <laughs>